As a teacher, my first thought was, oh my God, students are just going to use this to do all the work instead of doing it themselves. And at the end of the day, that's our entire goal as educators. We should be preparing students for their future, not our past. And if using these AI tools means that these students would be cheating, then it means the assessment task is outdated and flawed, not the way the students are responding to it. I'm just gonna go out there and say it. School is not preparing our students for their future. It just isn't. At the current state of the world, artificial intelligence is taking every industry by storm, whether it's healthcare or finance or transportation, mining, education, the list goes on. Artificial intelligence is being used more and more frequently in more and more areas to help people be more productive, more efficient, and just in general, make their lives easier. Now this boom in artificial intelligence and this rapid advancement in technology is our current present, but we must remember that this is going to actually be the future for our students. We need to be preparing them for this world and our current education system is just not doing that. At the moment, schools are prioritizing memorization, rote learning, and just traditional research skills, which are not applicable to the lives of our students when they finish high school. Back when I was in primary school in the 90s and high school in the early 2000s, these were practical skills. The ability to make a search on the internet and go through the various links and ascertain which one was the most important and get information from it was a highly valuable skill and that was going to prepare me well for my future. These days though, students aren't going to be doing that to research in their futures, they're going to be using artificial intelligence. There are so many out there such as ChatGPT, Bing chat, and even one called consensus where students can type in the topic of their research or a question that they have, and consensus is going to find articles which match, support, or refute that information, and it's gonna synthesize it for them. In essence, the future of research is going to be very different, and we should be preparing our students for that task rather than the one that we're currently doing. To summarize, we should be preparing students for their future, not our past. Now I'm a high school math teacher, and as you can probably tell from the fact that I have a YouTube channel built around AI and technology, I like those things. And I've engaged in a lot of discussion with other teachers and educational stakeholders about the impact that AI is going to have on the future of education. And there's one thing that has become abundantly clear to me. Most people's first instinct and first reaction to artificial intelligence being used in education is fear. They are worried that students are going to use these technologies to cheat on assessment tasks. And that means that the students aren't gonna be doing the work, rather the AI is. And look, I get that. My first reaction when I saw ChatGPT very early this year was the exact same thing. As a teacher, my first thought was, oh my God, students are just going to use this to do all the work instead of doing it themselves. But over the course of the last few months, my opinion has changed and that's what I wanna talk about in today's video, the concept of cheating, what is cheating, and why are we punishing students for doing something that they're going to be doing in their futures. Now, before the internet was a thing, People did research and found out about things by either talking to knowledgeable people in that area or doing the research themselves in terms of going to a library or consulting some encyclopedias that were in the cupboard at home. So education back then taught a lot of these skills to students. They taught them how to reference, how to search through an encyclopedia, how to use an index in a book, how to use a glossary of terms in a book. All of these skills were taught because they were necessary for the students' futures. Then along came the internet and all of a sudden heaps of information was online. People could research very rapidly by typing in a couple of keywords and instantly had all the information at their fingertips. This was a giant leap forward. And as I was in primary school, heading into high school at the time, I got to experience firsthand how the schooling system handled this giant change in paradigm. I got taught how to do word processing skills. I got taught how to research. And super importantly, I got taught the ethics and moral responsibilities that came with getting all of this information at my fingertips. I was taught to not trust everything on the internet, but rather fact check stuff, double check stuff. And this was exactly what school should have done because the future was the internet. I was going to be using the internet in my future and so I should have been taught how to use it. And I was. Now in high school, when it came to writing a report or an essay or something like that, I of course was allowed to use the internet to research. 
Of course I was, as long as I referenced the material that I sourced from the internet. Now this makes total sense because the assessment task should be teaching me something. And what it was teaching me was how to gather evidence from a bunch of different sources, synthesize the information and present it in a coherent way. That was the ultimate goal of the essay or the report. And that's what I was taught in high school. Fast forward now, a few years later, I'm not going to say how many years later, but a few years later, I am now a teacher at school and we are doing the exact same assessment tasks that I did when I was in school. The expected research methodologies are the same, the expected output is the same, and effectively nothing has changed since I was in high school. And honestly, fair enough. Not that much has changed between, let's say, 2008 when I graduated high school. Time for you to do some maths if you want to know how long I've been out of school. 2008 I graduated up until, let's say, 2022. Like things changed and the search engines that we were using got better and YouTube was a valuable research for video information and that sort of thing. But overall, nothing really changed between 2008 and 2022. And only in the last couple of months have things really gotten out of hand in a good way, I think. Artificial intelligence is changing everything especially in education, because the assessment tasks that we created and that we did all those years ago are now outdated. The idea of students researching through Google searching, gathering evidence, synthesizing it themselves, and then writing a report themselves is archaic. It seems crazy to say that, but seriously, a couple of months of technological advancement has caused that to be the case. In the future, these students who are in primary and high school as we speak are not going to be doing regular traditional searches. They are not going to be gathering data from multiple different sources themselves, and they are not going to be synthesizing the data themselves, and they sure as hell are not going to be writing the report or the essay themselves. All of that is going to be done with artificial intelligence. Even now, if I'm going to use artificial intelligence to say, make a PowerPoint presentation or to write a lesson plan for myself, I am not doing any of those things. I'm going to be using AI to streamline and totally speed up the process. And all I'm going to be doing is fact checking because these artificial intelligences can be wrong. I'm going to acknowledge that they can absolutely be wrong. So I've got, of course, fact check and I've got to take the information that I've been given and portray it in the correct way. And to do that, I have to, of course, use my professional judgment, but that's basically it. And that's what the future holds for these students. So in my opinion, and this is going to be controversial, I think we should be encouraging students to use these artificial intelligence technologies to do their assessment tasks. And if using these AI tools means that these students would be cheating, then it means the assessment task is outdated and flawed, not the way the students are responding to it. Now, with the rapid advancement in technology, I don't know what the future holds, but I do know that it's going to be very different from our past. And so in the future, crucial skills are gonna be needed by students, skills of creativity, problem solving, reasoning and analysis. These are gonna be the skills that students need to really achieve in their futures. They're gonna to need to learn to work collaboratively with others and with the artificial intelligence. And they're going to need to learn how to adapt and change. These are the skills that we should be teaching in school, not memorization, not rote learning. We shouldn't be testing how well can students write an essay in an exam condition. We should be creating assessment tasks where students can be creative. They can solve problems. They can do presentations on topics and they can use artificial intelligence to make them awesome. That's what they're gonna be doing in their future anyway, so we should be starting them now. If we don't, we are really doing them a disservice because we are not actually preparing them for their futures. And at the end of the day, that's our entire goal as educators. The entire education system should be summarized with this one sentence. We are preparing students for their future. And at the moment, we are too stuck in our ways. We have to recognize that the world is changing and it is going to do so at an exponential rate. Now, a lot of these things that I've been saying in this video are gonna be controversial. They just are, and I know that they're going to be. If you disagree with me on any of these points or think I'm overlooking something or overly simplifying something, please let me know in the comments below and I would love to have a discussion with you in the comments and talk about this concept because I know for sure even though I'm passionate about my opinion, it is just an opinion. 
I understand that. And I know I'm not going to be right in every single way. So please challenge me on a couple of these areas and I'd love to discuss with you. If you're on my side though, and you agree that there needs to be a paradigm shift with how we approach education and how we approach preparing our students for their futures, make sure that you let me know in the comments below as well. Make sure you like the video and make sure you subscribe for more content like this. I've got a bunch of videos coming up where I teach teachers and I'm also going to, I guess, be teaching students how to use a bunch of these artificial intelligences to be more creative and to solve problems. And this is going to fly in the face of traditional education. I've talked a lot about the positives that this technology can bring to our society and to our students. However, there are of course downsides. There are security issues, there are privacy issues, there are many, many different aspects of artificial technology which can get out of hand and which are dangerous. I'm not saying that it is only a good thing. I'm highlighting the importance and all the positives in this video, but I acknowledge that there are negatives and scary parts of this technology. I'm gonna make a future video on that and how we can protect our students' uh, privacy and security and how we can teach them to protect themselves in a future video. Now with that said, if you're interested in learning a little bit about these technologies, I've got a few videos, there's gonna be a couple on the screen right now that you can go to to see how some of these technologies work and how you can use them as educators in your futures. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.